Shalom Wacha, sisters and brothers, how are you doing? We are running our lives in, a, in this crazy generation, wild generation. Must understand and appreciate ourselves for the sanity that we're maintaining. It's not simple to live in these days. It's a, it's a challenge. It's a great, great um, a generation that experience such great ups and downs that is enjoying such crazy wealth and and um, prosperity and development and and uh, and um, um, richness and in the other end so empty so broken so so poor so low so so dark and uh, the world is open and uh, we can go and visit supposedly can go and visit every point on the globe you can fly catch flights to any place to fly to to ship to sail to walk to travel to drive it was not to exist in different generations and in our days crazy lockdown every family in their own houses struggling with their own minds and craziness and thoughts and and weary and sad and, and broken thoughts and feelings that's our reality we're experiencing both ends in the same time so we must and have to appreciate ourselves for that because it's uh, it's impossible to live in this lifetime it's like you need to be like so super unique and special to hold on and not to lose your mind you need to make money and you don't have a job you need to make people happy and you lost your own joy and, and satisfaction a long time ago you need to help people with their emotional problems and yours are all over the place and you don't know how to build and strengthen your own self you need to like all the the great things in the world and you lack of them and you can see them and you cannot touch them and you want them and you cannot have them and on and on and on i'm just trying to express to you um, from my own place um, the advice that keeps me going that I know that in the end of the day I'm doing the best that I can and more than that I'm not able to do I am not God myself I am not above the challenges and obstacles of this world and lifetime and I'm not able to exempt not myself and not my friends and my loved ones my family I'm not able to exempt them from life's challenges as well. I'm just here to do the best that I can and to provide as much as I can to every single person around me to show as much as I can the love that I feel that the Creator shared with me, the beauty and the light that I'm enjoying from as part of my life journey on earth and just to try to do the best that we can. So for me, even though that it's crazy because like you want to save lives but people are swimming into the depths of the sea how can you save a person that is choosing to drown you want to save people but people are jumping off the roofs like what what can you do to save lives of people who are choosing to die who are choosing god forbid to to throw themselves to to the darkness you cannot save them it's not really in your power to save lives of people that does not want to be saved. But in the same time, you are able to offer and to suggest your skills, your power, your wisdom based on your life experience and, and, and your uh, inner and deep understanding of life and just to be there for them, to have, um, for them to have a gate, a lifeline, an option to be redeemed, to be saved by you, by your love, by your affection, by your kindness, by your loyalty and friendship and all the good things that a person um, can offer. And more than that, we cannot offer. There is no way in the world that we will be ever able to do more um, than the blessing that the Creator um, is giving us. And Today he is giving a certain amount that is not enough for the completion of the world. Or at least we cannot find it, uh, we don't have an access to it. We don't find the keys, we don't find the gates. 
for all the wonders and miracles that can redeem the world. People can say, yes, it's in the Torah. People can say, yes, it's in the, in the mikveh, in the tefillah, in the prayer, in, the, in whatever, in Yerushalayim. In, 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 like people can say, people can say many things. But in the end of the day, we are learning and we are praying and we are visiting the holy spots and places and we are doing the best that we can. And the redemption still being delayed so we can just wait and can just hope and can just strengthen our own selves with that understanding that we are doing the best that we can and that we are trying to achieve the most and that we are offering our hearts our broken hearts our wounded and, and bleeding scarred and, and and burnt hearts to the world but more than that we cannot do so please Satisfy yourself with that knowledge and don't blame yourself for faults that are not yours and for lackings that you have not created. And even if you see that you had a part and a portion in certain damages and defaults in this world, remember you came to the world not when it began, not in the Bereshit. You came here in this lifetime only 60 50, 40, 30 years ago, you're here only as the number of years that you are alive and the world was already broken when you got here. It's not your fault and it is only your responsibility to do the best that you can and to try to fix and to complete and to love and to express your compassion and to be sensitive and loving and respectful as much as you can with the world, with your surroundings, with your loved ones, and with yourself. Don't forget yourself. Don't forget yourself. Don't forget to be your own best friend. Don't forget to appreciate yourself for the true effort that you put in life. Don't forget yourself, because if you will not remember that you are doing the best that you can, and that your heart is pure, and that your intention is good, you might lose your true identity and fall in the trap of illusions and self-blame and self-criticism that will not get the person nowhere. So stop doing that and be positive and shine to the world the light that Hashem shines uh, to your heart. Amazing days of Hanukkah, amazing days of miracles and wonders. May the blessing hover upon us all. You can enjoy the view a little bit. I will let you see some of the wonders um, that are revealed and exposed to us in those uh, wonderful hours. What can we say except of thank you. Thank you to our friends. Thank you to ourselves. Thank you to the righteous ones, to the real righteous ones. And thank you, Hashem. Thank you, Hashem, for opening our hearts to follow you, following the rules of the Torah, the oral Torah, based on the wisdom of the sages and the righteous ones. May the light shine upon us all and heal us all and bring us to the completion of our mission to see the complete redemption and to dance, to be happy, to celebrate for the great redemption day that will take place in our days, in our lives, among all our loved ones. Let's hold hands together and say Amen.